गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स Good morning, dear students. Uh, uh, today also we are going to work out on the integrated grammar exercise, right? So please do text me uh, very quickly if I am audible to you. Is it buffering from your end? Please let me know. It seems it's buffering, right? Dear students, you please see. Nandini, can you hear me? Uh, please do text me quickly if it is buffering or it's okay. Okay, thank you, Asmita. Uh, but uh, from my end, sometimes it's buffering. Okay, so anyway, let's continue. Okay, dear students, uh, this is the sample paper given by CBSC. Uh, it is of the last academic year, but the pattern is the same actually. This year also the pattern is the same, right? So let's do from there. Okay. So first, gap filling exercise. So tell me please, the uh, Wangala, Wangala uh, festival for the Garo in Meghalaya, Assam, and Nagaland, right? So the Wangala is important, are an important, was the important, or is an important. Which one do you think is the correct answer? The Wangala is important, are an important, was the important, is an important. The Wangala is important, are an important, was the important, or is an important. Which, let me see, absolutely correct. So, um, it is, is an important, right? So, is an important, absolutely correct, okay. So, next, it is a post-harvest festival. It is a post-harvest festival, uh, dash the, the end of the agricultural year. It is a post-harvest festival dash the end of the agricultural year. So, it is a post-harvest festival being celebrated or celebrated, celebrated to marking, being celebrated for mark. So, Next one, question number D, you tell uh, the students, 5B2, uh, 5-2 uh, five two. Five two you say now, 5-2 quickly, you tell 5-2 quickly. Uh, Asmita, you said being celebrated for marking. Okay, let me see uh, what others say. Anushri also says being celebrated for marking. Okay, is there any, any gungun? What does Gungun say? Gungun says number A. So Gungun number A. Okay. Let me see. Let me check some more uh, responses. Then I shall tell the correct answer. Right? Okay. Uh, Manish. No, Manish is not saying anything. Sanchita. Okay. 
all are saying almost the same, okay? But I'm afraid your answer is incorrect, okay? Your answer number A is incorrect. Why it is incorrect, let me tell you. Why it is incorrect, let me tell you. Dear students, this is an incorrect answer. So which is the correct answer? Correct answer is number B. That is the correct answer, okay? Dear students, you see, if you say being celebrated for marking, it means it talks about this year only. But it is every year happening, right? So being celebrated for marking means it is happening this year only. But we are talking about Wangala festival, which is an important festival for the Garo in Meghalaya, Assam in Nagaland, and which is celebrated every year. So in order to show that it's celebrated, in order to make the sense, celebrated, uh, in, in order to make, the, make it appear like it's celebrated every year, you've got to select Number B option, celebrated to mark, not number A option. Being celebrated for marking is not a correct option, dear students, okay? It's not a correct option. So I explained you why it is wrong, okay? So now let's move on to the next one. Uh, it is popularly known as the 100 Drums Festival. During the signature dance, the leading warrior dashed with synchronized dance steps and specific hand hand uh, hand hand movements okay so number three you see the hundred drums festival during the signature dance the leading warrior the leading warrior the leading warrior leads the youngsters is led the youngsters was leading had lagged. Okay. So tell me, dear students, which one do you think is the correct answer? Which one do you think is the correct answer? During the signature dance, the leading warrior, the leading warrior leads the youngsters, is led the youngsters, was leading the youngsters, had leads the youngster. Which one do you think is the correct answer? So, reason they have to apply, students, they are not applying the reason. So, do you know the answer, dear students? Do you know the answer? Leads the youngster. Ask me the very good. So let's see. And Suti also leads the youngsters. Okay. So let's see. Uh, it's a post harvest festival celebrated at the end of the agricultural year. It is okay. During the signature dance, the leading warrior, as it is third person singular warrior, so therefore Asmita is absolutely correct. It leads the youngsters. You are very correct. Leads the youngsters. Okay, it's the correct option because it is. Uh, it happens every year, so it should be simple present tense, right? So therefore, is led is incorrect because it is in passive structure. It cannot be in the passive structure. It should be in the active structure only. And then was leading is also incorrect. Had leads the youngsters is also incorrect. Okay, because this is these two are about the past tense, but the passage talks about the. Um, uh, like uh, usual happening every year. The passage talks about uh, something which uh, happens on a regular basis. Therefore, it cannot be it, it cannot be simple past tense structure. Therefore, C and D we can rule out very easily. So answer will be A. Okay, understood, dear students. Now you see. Next is reported speech, and reported speech is your Achilles' heel, right? So, 
anywhere I can see how you can do. Uh, okay, there is no need for this uh, cartoon picture. It's not required cartoon dialogues. So from here you can do. Okay, so uh, you can see the question here. Yes, question you can see. Okay, I saw Supandi standing in the field when I dash doing there. Okay, so when I what are you doing standing all alone here? So when I asked, after that what you tell me? When I asked, which option? A, B, C, D. I have given you 70% hint, dear students. 70% hints I have given you already, okay? Now you tell me, what should be the answer? Achal Aglavi says number C. So Achal says ask him what he was. Yes, Achal is absolutely correct. Okay, uh, because what are you doing? So what he was doing, right? So what he was and then doing is given here. That is why it's not required. So till what he was is correct, right? Now let's move on to the next one. So what is the next one? Let's find out what is the next one. So he doing there, he dash, he was trying to win. Okay. So he uh, is very simple. Number two is also simple. Just write ABCD, which one is very simple. Very simple. Vaishnavi uh, Palki says the previous one. The, the present one, you tell now. What is the answer of the present one? Number two. Uh, number, yeah, number two is very simple. Very simple. Yes, very good. Anushri uh, and uh, Anushri, Akansha, Sruti, they are all correct. So replied that. Okay. Next, next you tell me uh, this one, number three. Okay, so he stumped me saying, okay, you have to read the entire paragraph. I was confused and inquired how standing in the right field would help him do so. He stumped me by saying that he dash won the Nobel Prizes. Uh, he does the one Nobel prizes now. So he had won the Nobel prizes, right? Uh, by saying that, by saying that, let's see. Uh, Which one you tell me? See the question here. I show you the question here once. Question is, uh, you see, he stumped me by saying, uh, he stumped me by saying, I have heard, see this one, I have heard that people who have won Nobel Prizes. So I have heard that, right? So this part should be changed actually. So he stumped me by saying that he, and then you tell me which one is the answer. Then he, after he what, tell me quickly. Atharva. I am talking about number three. Write quickly the answer of number three. Write quickly the answer of number three.
नंबर सी ओके नंबर सी आचल हैड हार्ड दैट पीपल हु हैड यस करेक्ट अस्मिता आकांक्षा एंड ऑल ओके यस करेक्ट थैंक यू नाउ सी बट डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस वाज इजी सो यू कुड इजीली मेक इट so i want you to in touch with reporter speech so that even the difficult ones you are able to correct the way you done now okay so the difficult ones also we need to practice dear students thank you now next uh, let's move on to the next one okay see here fill in the blanks by choosing the correct options for any four of the six sentences given below okay you dash consult the thesaurus if you need groups of synonyms for those words so which one you have had to or need to or used to or might Let me see. You need to, na? Ah, uh, Smita, Nandini, Akanksha, prayer now. Okay. So you need to consult the thesaurus if you need groups of synonyms for those words, right? So. Okay, so do you know, dear students? Do you know what is a thesaurus? Do you know what is a thesaurus? Thesaurus is a dictionary where synonyms and antonyms of a particular word is given for example let me show you yes for example let me show you suppose i want to see here synonym is there and definition is there so if i want to know the meaning of exquisite e x q u i s i t e exquisite let's find out what are the how many similar words are there uh, for the word exquisite or related to the word exquisite so dear students you can see so many words have come out here exquisite means beautiful excellent finely beautiful right that is called exquisite what is the meaning of exquisite the meaning of exquisite is beautiful excellent finely beautiful right that is what is exquisite of the part right so exquisite these are the similar words like admirable charming perfect polished delicate delicious right attractive joy and all this fastidious okay uh, this is antony dear student this is antony okay fastidious precious uh, fine incomparable
See dear students, these are antonyms, these are antonyms and these are synonyms. So, dear students, so, are you able to see what I am uh, trying to show you? Uh, are you a dictionary or encyclopedia? So, Anusri, uh, Anusri, uh, like the, like what Asmita said, no? like a book containing synonyms and antonyms, this is more appropriate. Okay, so if you write a dictionary or encyclopedia only, then it is not correct, right? If a dictionary that limits, okay, uh, right, so you have to be very specific with synonyms and antonyms, right? And honestly, like, uh, uh, you see, uh, this thesaurus.com, you can please bookmark it in your browser and you can uh, refer to it, thesaurus.com. See, so beautifully they have given. See here, uh, admirable, at the meaning of, uh, the definition of admirable, they have first given definition, then they have given synonyms, then they have given antonyms also, right? So, you can consult, uh, it is required when you uh, write something or when you want to be a blogger or when you want to also occasionally write your article, then you can you can refer to uh, thesaurus, right? Sometimes uh, like uh, we want to use a better word, we want to use a standard word, more standard word, right? So for this reason, we need to refer to thesaurus.com, okay? So you see delicate, uh, definition is sickly, dainty, weak, weak. So delicious, elegant, rare, subtle, choice, ethereal. Okay, and then see the entries are given. So, dear students, this is very beautiful uh, website. Uh, you can learn so many things. Games also you can play. Games of quizzes, Scrabble word, words with friends, daily crossword puzzle, learn writing word of the day. So you get so many things, dear students. Okay, you will get so many things. You can see work work of the day. They are given. So it appears to be a very beautiful website, dear students. Okay, exclusively dedicated. Listen to the word of the day. You can listen also the meaning, the pronunciation of this word here. You can see. So you can take the quiz also. So it's a beautiful thing. Okay. Okay, dear students. No. Now let's move on to the next one. Everybody dash keen to participate in the upcoming uh, Nukkur Nata, Nukkar Nata. Okay, everybody dash keen. So everybody is or has or are or where? Tell me. Everybody, I'm waiting for your thing. Yes, Akansha network is a bit slow, so it will be there will be some buffering in between. So you've got to bear with us. Um, you tell me the answer of the next question. Okay, like Asmita, Akansha, Anusri, they are saying is Shivam, Sumit. They are saying is okay. So let's find out. Let's find out. Everybody is keen. Is keen to participate in the very good. Next, the good news is that dash volunteers dropped out this month than the last two. The good news is that dash volunteers dropped out this month than the last two. Which one do you think is the correct answer? Come on first. Is it fewer or less or few or little? This is very important, dear students. This question is very, very important. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. It's very, very important. I'll tell you why. The good news is that Dash volunteers dropped out this month than the last two.
Okay, so Asmita is absolutely correct. Uh, Asmita, congratulations, you have got it right. Rest of you, I'm sorry, you are not correct. But thank you for your response. Let me explain you, dear students, why you are wrong. Let me tell you. Uh, because you see, dear students, uh, let me first unhide this. Uh, unhighlight this first of all. Let me first unhighlight this. I'll why is important this part. I'll just highlight. Okay, this is why this is important, right? Uh, then I tell you here that is important part. I am telling you now. Dear students, why it should be fewer here? You know, because less because here. You can see there is a comparison given. How do you know it's a comparison? Because it's a comparison with the last two months and then is given comparison. Like X is better than Y. Y is as good as uh, X. Okay, X is not better than Y. So whenever there is an adverbal then, okay, then it is a comparison. So when there is a comparison, there should be comparative degree, right? For this reason, dear students, it should be fewer, okay? As there is a comparison of the volunteers, see, the good news is that fewer volunteers dropped out this month than the last two. Then the last two means last two, uh, you know, Nukhar Nata, right? So uh, as is a comparison, so it should be in comparative degree. Therefore, fewer volunteers. It cannot be less because it is countable. Volunteers, human beings, even count one, two, three, four, five. That is why it cannot be less. It cannot be few because it's comparison. It should be fewer. A little, it cannot be because a little uh, will not match with uh, the countable nouns. A little, less, they are normally used uh, or always used with the uncountable noun. But volunteers refer to countable nouns. You can count them one, two, three, four, five. And as it is a comparison, therefore, so we have come uh, like our choices have narrowed down to two only. One, one is fewer, another is few. Okay, so fewer will be the answer. Why? Because there is a comparison given here, right? Next one. It was dash historic day for the organization when dash owner was bestowed upon its employees. So tell me, it was a or an or the or an whatever you tell me whatever uh, which is the uh, answer the correct answer you tell me which is the correct answer you tell me quickly dear students very quickly you text me very quickly, you text me, dear students. A N A N. Okay, A N. Very good, very good. Uh, so it should be A N on It was a historic day for the organization when an owner was bestowed upon its employees. Next, at this time tomorrow, we dash our project details to madam. At this time tomorrow, we dash our project details to madam. We are presenting. We shall be presenting. We have been presenting. We will have presenting. So. Which one? At this time tomorrow. At this time tomorrow. Very simple. Quickly, dear students. We are left with hardly any time. You need five minutes uh, rest also, right? Before the next class starts. So I'm going to wind up now. Shall be presenting. Okay, so I take your answer, uh, Smita. Thank you so much. Next one, the Komodo dragon dash follow its prey till it will eventually die. It will eventually die due to its venomous bite. The Komodo dragon dash follow its prey. The Komodo dragon.
the komodo dragon may forward spread till it will eventually die okay uh, okay so it should be it is compulsory it must follow its prey okay must follow its prey okay so dear students thank you for being connected uh, we shall uh, meet once again tomorrow and dear students please do follow uh, please do uh, some worksheet from my website okay there are plenty of worksheets given so please do uh, listening worksheet and i shall assign you on google classroom so from there please uh, you do that uh, so 